Hello students, this is Perio, Chapter 26, Lecture 1. Interdental aids are critical for periodontal maintenance patients, as this area generally is not accessible to toothbrushing. Anatomical challenges to biofilm control in patients with periodontitis include open embrasure spaces and root concavities. Gingival embrasure space is a small, triangular, open space. Gingival embrasure space evaluation is critical in determining which aid will provide the most accurate biofilm control. Interdental aids are alternatives to dental floss. Aid selection should consider interdental anatomy and patient dexterity. The best interdental aid is the one that is most effective and the patient is willing to use. A type 1 embrasure is filled completely by the interdental papilla. In these cases, dental floss is very effective. A type 2 embrasure is one where the height of the interdental papilla is reduced. Interdental brushes and wooden toothpicks are effective here. A type 3 embrasure is one where the interdental papilla is missing. Interdental brushes and end tuft brushes are effective. Root concavities are trench like depressions in the root surface. In health, root concavities are covered with alveolar bone. In periodontitis, Junctional epithelium migrates apically with bone and tissue destruction, exposing the root concavity to the oral environment. Here is an image showing root concavities and dental floss trying to remove the debris leaves behind a stripe of debris in the root concavity. This is a demonstration of the effectiveness of the interdental brush in cleaning a root concavity. This is demonstrating how the floss completely misses the indented area which is the root concavity and the interdental brush is effective in reaching it. Interdental aid selection is based on the type of embrasure that you are dealing with on the patient. In a type 1, the dental floss is effective, but in a type 2 or 3, it is not effective. Here are different types of interdental brushes. This shows a patient using an interdental brush. The patient's role is as a co-therapist. The patient has to control bacterial biofilm on a daily basis. The patient should be actively involved in making decisions about his or her oral health care. The goals of mechanical plaque control. Physically removing or disrupting dental plaque biofilms by daily patient self-care regular subgingival periodontal instrumentation by the dental hygienist. Oral self-care is personal care performed by the patient. These activities are performed to prevent disease and to promote and maintain health. A collaboration between the dental hygienist and the patient ensures that, that the patient's preferences, motivations, and compliance are addressed. Good communication and education are essential. The goals are to improve oral health through optimum removal of dental biofilms and to eliminate bleeding and inflammation. Manual toothbrushes are used with the sulcular technique and soft bristles. The power toothbrushes uses a timer which is beneficial to increase brushing time. The brush types of brush heads varies depending on the manufacturer. There are also ergonomic handles available. Some of these power brushes remove plaque better than the manual. 
Power toothbrushing is recommended for patients with poor biofilm control, orthodontic appliances, implants, aesthetic restorations, gingival overgrowth, crowns and bridges, and patients with physical disabilities. The benefits of power toothbrushing. Power toothbrushing gives better biofilm control than manual toothbrushing and may contribute to better patient compliance. Tongue cleaning. Daily tongue cleaning removes pathogenic bacteria on the dorsum of the tongue. It reduces the bacteria in the saliva, improves the taste sensation for the patient, reduces halitosis, and removes volatile sulfur compounds, which are gases that cause halitosis. Manual tongue cleaners come in a variety of styles, but all are designed to allow patients to reach the back of the tongue. Halitosis and volatile sulfur compounds. VSC are responsible for most halitosis. Hydrogen sulfide and methyl mercaptan are the most common. Tongue cleaning is recommended to dislodge the bulk of bacteria that collect on the filiform papillae. Methyl mercaptan is linked to periodontal disease. Here is an image of proper use of a tongue scraper. The brush or scraper is positioned as far back on the tongue as possible and then is pulled gently over the tongue and repeated two or three times until the tongue is clean. The patient's daily oral self-care plays an important role in controlling periodontal disease. The biofilm control with power toothbrushes is better than that of manual toothbrushing. Daily tongue cleaning removes pathogenic bacteria on the dorsum of the tongue. This concludes Perio Chapter 26, Lecture 1.